Hidden San Francisco, the guide to lost landscapes, unsung heroes, and radical histories. Stop D7, the House Un-American Activities Committee, 1960, City Hall, number one, Dr. Carlton B. Goodlett Place. When the House Un-American Activities Committee, HUAC, planned new hearings in May 1960 to investigate communist infiltration in the Bay Area, they didn't expect serious opposition. The same committee had held hearings in previous years. Beyond a few unrepentant members of the Communist Party, the committee's attention was widely feared. If you think that I am going to cooperate with this collection of Judas, of men who sit there in violation of the United States Constitution, if you think I will cooperate with you in any way, you are insane. In 1960, the climate changed for good when hundreds of students from local universities converged on the hearing to witness the famous witch hunters. The HUAC was careful to allocate the public seats to reliable supporters of their efforts, leaving the students out in the hall unable to enter the hearing. They chanted and sang and demanded entry, leading police to declare their gathering unlawful. Perhaps inspired by civil rights protests in the South, students resorted to passive resistance in the face of police repression. The police then unleashed fire hoses and washed students down the marble steps inside the rotunda before arresting 64 and sending a half dozen to the hospital. No one was convicted and most of the charges were dropped before trial. In spite of the fear and trauma, everyone returned the next day jamming Civic Center Plaza. Big burly longshoremen showed up to defend the students from horse-mounted police and with thousands of protesters in the streets, the HUAC canceled the rest of its hearing and never held another public hearing again. In retrospect, the HUAC protest can be seen as the end of a paralyzing and paranoid repressive period in U.S. history, but also the beginning of the student movement that within a few years would be a powerful force in opposing the Vietnam War and in unleashing the wide-ranging cultural revolution we call the 60s.